riffing with Rizzuto wow. all day long. Pulling up the news, oh, and I'll sing you a song, cause oh, I got it bad. And oh, it's so sad, but I'm here. I'm gonna try to make you glad. Oh, oh I've been with Rizzuto News. I'm your host, Paul Rizzuto. Oh, 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 boy, it's a hell of a day in the city liner. How the hell are you? How the hell are you guys? Are you having a nice day? A good week or a weekend? Yeah, whatever the hell you're listening to this, I can't really document who the hell listens to this and what, what the hell you're doing. Mowing the grass, you accidentally saw your fucking leg off of the, one of the helicopter lawnmower blades because well, the birds are chirping, the grass is growing, and the fucking sun's popping out, huh? And you got the rain floating through the skyline there, making all those, what are those zats or zots or whatever the hell bug that's taking over the planet, all over the crops, the lantern fly from hell. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, why don't you make a movie about that? I'm sure you can flip it, 2023, make it the fly four or three or whatever the hell it is. I think they only made two fly movies fucking Cronenberg over there, but, oh boy, oh, oh boy, it's a tiresome day, a tiresome day, a tiresome week, why is this so loud, oh, Jesus, turn it down, oh God, I'm sitting in a fucking old rocking chair, I feel like I'm in the middle of the woods, I got a fucking dead person's lamp, Ahead of me, ahead of me, God bless you, oh, my boy. I'm sitting there to f- itching myself to death, trying to talk to the doctor. They prescribe me some goddamn horse pill to take. I don't think I'm going to take that, but it says the side effects are longer than the... The side effects are longer than the actual fucking... Uh, the cure of what it's supposed to be. Now, am I supposed to fall on my knees? Oh. Am I supposed to fall on my knees taking these horse pill by the threes? Oh boy. Am I supposed to take one blop, blop, blop and chuck it in the fucking back of my throat like I'll be in, I'll go, yeah. And sit all over the fucking floor, it'll sound like a tic tac. Doinking in the fucking toilet. So I'll have to dig into that, see if I can actually feel better, if my skin's not dissolving in real time, which I feel like it is. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I wish I could get a fucking camera on my body, but who the hell would see that? Or would want to see it. Oh, oh, that boy, I don't even want to see what the hell's going on with my beauty. Why? Because that is G R O S S. That's gross. What's going on with my body? It's gross. I don't know what the hell to do with it. I mean, I'm about to just jump into a fryer and turn into a fried food and just trottle off into some fucking geometric human tribe in the Amazon rainforest and get hacked away by all the goddamn green inferno cannibalistic son of a bitch well, Indians over there where the hell they, they wear the fucking feathers over there they look like Indians oh boy fucking balls are itching too all I got to do is just squeeze it and pinch it like the fucking high sea guy smashing through the wall. I wish I could just smash my balls up against the fucking wall like that. Maybe I can get some relief from the itch. Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll see this. Will 
we'll see this. I can't wait to see all the pills I'm gonna take. I got about 30. I got it's the most confusing thing ever. It's just un, it's the most confusing three sentence page uh, wording I've ever seen. It says take four pills every three days. Take three pills every four days for four hours. Take two pills every three days for two hours. Or take two pills for two days for every three hours. It's, that's a lot of rereading to figure out what the fuck you're gonna do before you have blood clots and you're fucking you fall down the stairs backwards. Oh, boy. I don't want that to happen. I really don't like these meds, but I will take it over some head. Not, not really, though. Uh, no, not really. I wouldn't take it over some head, but this head is chafing up a bit because I'm itching the fuck out of it. Yes. Cock looks like a fucking uh, dried cookie dough on a pin roller, and you're peeling it off. And you go gross, and you throw it in the trash, but you still lick it if you're a whore, or who are, whatever the hell it is. But, yeah, I just gotta get a little bit better. I don't know anybody with eczema. Write into me at paulrazuo at gmail.com or just comment on something about the eggs. I'm about to post a picture of my honky donkey on the online. So everyone, oh, everyone can see it. And they'll see it and they won't be able to ignore. But then I'll get kicked out. Oh, yes, oh, right out the door. I'll get kicked out right out the door. Yeah, right out the fucking door. Uh, all right, well, let's take a look at our first article of the night. I'm excited to get into it. I don't really have a lot to talk about because I had a boring fucking week and all. The only thing that's exciting is this eczema shit that I can't seem to ever get rid of. So, that's it. I'm, I'm just up itching at night and running around the walls and running around like a fucking rabbit with a dynamite up his ass just around the fucking bed have to smoke like 19 bowls of dope to even fucking shut one eye <laughs> and that doesn't even work because I got the fucking autism bong because I'm a fucking clown over here buying the wrong shit Listen to the salesman. Oh, why did I listen to that salesman? He says, yeah, it's homemade. They have a made in the USA. Yeah, by kids with fucked up brains here. And that's why the hitter piece is glued to the fucking bottom and has no airflow. It doesn't matter if I clean out the hitter piece or not. Now it's just broke. Broke as fuck. It's more broke than I even thought it was. So it's double the piece of shit, but it's the only thing I got. Fucking dab rig blowing the fuck. I can't put the wax on that. I'm out of rolling paper. I ain't gonna smoke out of my toe. Maybe I'll just use a hammer and smash my fucking knee in. There's a hole I can put the dope. Then I'll drill a hole right through my veins. And then I'll put my lips up and smoke like this. I'll smoke it, and hopefully I'll get to sleep, because I smoke myself to sleep. <sighs> All right. Let's take a look at our first article of the night. Oh, a woman suing Las Vegas. Oh, a woman is in trouble. Broke her fucking teeth out by a hamburger. Oh, what the fuck did she do? Woman, woman suing Las Vegas Wendy's after she says a hamburger broke her teeth, teeth the fuck out. Now there is a lawsuit, oh boy. Woman reportedly broke 
teeth in an incident lawsuit says. A woman filed a lawsuit Thursday against the Las Vegas Wendy's after she claimed she bit into a hamburger which contained pieces of glass-like particles breaking her teeth. A lawsuit filed in Clark County District Court said. Uh, could you imagine? Sitting right there, sitting in the seat. She got her purse on her lap and her little doggy woggy on the side. She says, I'm so hungry, I just have two buckaroos to throw at a Wendy's burger. Oh, a Wendy's hamburger. And what she didn't realize was as soon as she goes down to pet Mrs. Finkelton, the little doggy woggy, a piece of glass. As she's chomping down, shoom, shoom. Ah, little does she know there's a fucking piece of glass cutting right, right through her tongue. And then her hits right her cavity hole and busts her fucking teeth out. <laughs> and she's screaming at the top of her lungs. Praying to God that her fucking whole jaw isn't collapsed because of a shitty hoodie toity fast food restaurant burger that sucks. And why the fuck are they square burgers? Yeah, you know, why the fuck are they square? And why the hell is there glass in them? Because that's what they do at the fast food restaurant. Not only was it bad years and years ago, they're trying to save money on everything, but now you were in another recession and you're going to see a lot of this kind of shit. They're trying to save money on filler stuff, so they'll throw glass in it and they'll play the big question mark. Oh, what, what do you mean? Why is there glass in there? Well, it's because you put it in there, you fucking clown, you cheap son of a bitch. Can't spend an extra five bucks on getting real meat for a fucking burger. We're the ones working ourselves to death to spend on your shitty food so we can get through oh, another shitty week and a shitty work day that piles up a oh, one by one. Six plus one is seven, you're done. Yeah, that's a whole fucking week, and then times however many weeks are in a year. I can't do the math, or now can I think about it, but... Oh, Jesus Christ, it'll never end, uh, never end glass burgers. It'll just, we'll just start selling them at the store now. They won't even be hidden. You, you'll be so run down, you'll want it. You'll want a glass burger. Well, what, what's for dinner tonight, sweetie? Well... I did actually see some of those glass burgers in aisle five. Ah, uh, sounds good. I had a horrible week. Me too. Me too, honey. Let's just choke ourselves to death on a fucking glass burger. Then it'll slide our throat. Then we can bleed out in our love heart-shaped fucking hot tub. While eating the best goddamn fast food hoity twitty frozen meal of our lifetime and it'll be the end of the lifetime. And you wanna slit your throat because the future's looking pretty fucking grim and dim over here. Ah, Jennifer Haston accuses the fast food restaurant on Rancho Drive near Crag Road on serving her a hamburger with hard and clear glass-like particles. In it, court documents the 8 News Now investigators review said when she began to consume the hamburger prepared and cooked by Wendy's and provided to her at the pickup window, she experienced a tremendous sense of shock and fear as her hamburger was not juicy and tender as she expected. It was uh, actually a uh, sharp and pierce and it made you cry and not in a good kind of happy, happy way that you're 
satisfied. Oh, no, if you're not satisfied, you're still hungry and you're bleeding, you have no stomach left because a glass slit your stomach open, you're puking out all your fucking stomach ass all over the road. Probably making a fucking hole for the next car to fucking crash into, and then he'll probably slit his throat, all, ironically enough, on his glass windshield. And you guys can be glass. You guys can go to a class class, take some take some classes together for glass. Oh, like particles, and they actually broke many of O. Hastings' teeth right out. But Jesus Christ, she must have been hungry to chomp down just like that. Yeah, chomping all your fucking teeth bust out of your face. <laughs> Could you imagine her teeth are all bust the fuck? She's like, I gotta get a lawyer. She's walking down the street waddling, leaving a blood trail for all the fucking wild coyotes and she... She's up real low on blood, and she, she she just shrivels off to the. She just says, "Law offices," and she goes into there. Mr. Carl Winslow is in there, fucking using a pocket pussy, watching old reruns of his show that's not on, not on anymore. So she waddles in there, says, "Hey, ah, uh, fucking." <laughs> <laughs> Burger busted. Oh, my teeth right out. I think I'm uh, about to die. And he says, let me finish this whack out and I'll take care of you. And by the time he's done, she is not only on the run, but she's getting ready to sit in one of those fucking chairs that Winslow has for her. But little does she know he has drilled out has drilled out because that is a secret porty potty shit chair. That's a secret porta potty shit chair. And all lawyers have that. Alright. Uh Hasten then spit the food in the napkin, describing the pain as overwhelming, intense, and excru excruciating. No shit, that's what glass does. It cuts your tongue right out. Haven't you noticed when you break a window? If you break a window and you lay your hand down, it's uh, gonna cut it ever so slightly. Oh, boy. Ever so slightly. It's gonna cut your hand ever so slightly. Yeah, it's just in your skin forever. And you're gonna become, the glass will become a part of you. <sighs> Never eat out. You always got to make your own food. Harvest the cow off the side of the road. Bring your own saw in your trunk. Just cut a piece out. Wrap it up in foil. Then you go home. Chuck it in the fucking oven. Uh, you can make your, your prime rib tacos from that. Or make some burgers, which could be better than... The shitty Wendy's. I don't get it. Take all the fast food restaurants. Oh, oh the fuck out. Just have one big. Just have one big. If you want to do the corporate conglomerate shit, let's just all vote on one good restaurant. Alright? It's just one place. Well, see, the problem is you got all the jobs. Everyone needs a fucking job. If we just had one place where everyone goes to, that's it. It's called, like, Mercils. <laughs> Welcome to Mercils. You can get everything done. You get jerked off. You get fucked. You can cheat on everybody. Everyone sees it. There's no problem anymore. You can get candy. You can hook up booze IVs up to your asshole funnel. Walk upside down, down college town, go around, party, all that, go to bars, fuck your husband's wife, fuck your wife's husband, who cares? Oh, make pudding and cook a bunch of scallions and shrimp and scallops. Oh, 
No one's watching you. Butter it up. Butter up the bread. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Who gives a shit? Give head to your wife. Give head to your husband. Give head to the transvestite next to the fucking neighbor across the street who you fucked with a shotgun. <laughs> oh, boy. And then everyone will be a little bit better. A little bit better, juicier than ever. Oh, tender like a feather, but instead of the glass, spit the food in the napkin. What a whore! She's a spitter. Hasten is asking for the jury trial and damages in excess of fifteen thousand bucks, which is standard in Clark County civil cases. Wendy's corporate office did not immediately respond to a request for the comment on Friday. Well, yeah, I mean her teeth are busted the fuck out. She's got a lot. Of, she's probably at home thinking, I shouldn't eat fast food anymore. This is a lesson all you fast foodians, including myself. I, I mean, I go to the sheets or whatever. I wolf down some. Me off on guard turkey. It doesn't look like turkey. It's 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 a little off. It's a little off, I'd say. But you chew it down while you're stoned out of your mind, and then it doesn't taste so bad if you add a lot of pepper to the turkey. It overpowers it. Now it tastes like pepper turkey. It's better now. Just don't put any glass in it, and then I'll break the last tooth I have out of my fucking tooth, right out of my mouth. Jesus Christ! All right, yep. Check your meat, guys. Stop going to these fucking fast food restaurants. You never know where the hell it's gonna come from. People smash bottles in the producing companies. They don't give a fuck. They got kids doing it. They smash. Bottles over their heads because he's cheating on Amy or he's cheating on Jackson or Jason or Henry or Martin or fucking Gloria or Sarah. And the glass particles end up in the hamburger meat somehow, and then it gets sent to Wendy's, of course, because it's low, low to the floor folk kind of food. So、uh, check your meat. But if you're gonna eat meat, just it's best to go to market, get it like that. Even though it's probably they're lying to you anyway, but it's probably the best thing. And that's my best experience. Or go to the grocery outlet; it's cheap there, and it's fucked to hell everywhere else, and it's more expensive. Just go to the grocery outlet. Say hi to Trevor for me too. All right. All right. Ned, when we meet, we'll see the difference. Could I take the seat and recover graciously? Perhaps it's best. Hmm. Laundry man explodes, almost killing a man. Laundromat explodes, almost killing man after simple washing mistake. Oh yeah, would you forget? Would you do split the prongs and try to plug it into three outlets at once?、Yeah. I've done that. Blew my fucking army jacket right up. Oh, woof, woof, woof. up in flames to hell. It blew out like two floors. The whole attic was busted to fuck. Just because you're stoned or you're boozed up or whatever the hell it is that you're on, gotta get a brawny or brawny or dawn or whatever it is. It is a tiny laundromat. That's what they use there. They use dawn and then they use the brawny paper towel to clean up all the explosion mess. Yeah. So once you blow up the laundromat, 
everyone's out of clean laundry for good, especially if you're in Spain over there. Let's take, let's take a look. We'll see how much of the explosion uh, cost them. Simple laundry mistake almost cost one man his life. All right, so we got it's already costing one man his life. Not only is his wallet blown to fuck, he's got no loot left, but he also has nothing to earn either because he won't have a life left. After he narrowly escaped a fiery, fiery explosion at a laundromat in Spain. Terrifying footage. Oh, let's take a look at the footage here. It shows the moment a tumble dryer blew the shop to pieces. A tumble dryer. Oh, 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 oh. don't we have a new drying equipment? Why don't we stock that with the uh, hoity-toity new dryers? You can't have a fucking tumble fumble dryer. Just on high frappe eh, for fucking two to three to four to seven hours, depending on how big of a piece of shit the dryer is. The one I have down the basement, I dread doing the laundry only because it takes like eight hours to dry. That's that's if I'm on top of it. That's only if I'm on top of it. If I'm not, the whole thing will rattle the fucking basement and all the goddamn pipes will burst all over the place and I got a whole mess down there. Not only are my clothes not dry, but the whole fucking floor is covered with water. And now I'm going to jump in it with the walker and get my ass blew up. I'll just blow right the fuck up through the floor. Through the floor and out through the door. Oh. Hopefully to another house where they have a better fucking dryer. And according to the reports, the dramatic footage was captured in the port city of Acorna in March, but it has been circulating online this week. It shows a man leaving the store with bags of laundry in his hand. But seconds later, the dryer suddenly stops. It stops. Stops spinning with the fucking fumble flaps. And its door flings open and bursts into a ball of flames. Whoa, whoa, it's like Dragon Ball Z. How do you like that be? I don't like shockwaves at all. But from the blast caused the shop front window to blow out. Oh, tearing the laundromat sign off. It tore the sign off the building. It's like, now you don't know what it is. It could have been a bank, hopefully. It could have been a Mickey D's, hopefully. It could have been a Boyger King, hopefully. But nope, it had to be a place where our fucking, we have to wash all the shit particles out of our fucking clothes. Great. Good job, Mr. What's your name? They don't say his name. It just says... Man in a laundromat blown the fuck. All right, let's take a look, see what happened to him. It's been reported a lighter left inside a pant pocket by a customer is what caused the blast. <laughs> okay, well, okay. I always leave lighters in my pocket, usually if you smoke a lot of dope, like me. Always leave a lighter in your pocket. I hate checking the pockets before you turn the laundry into the fucking jail, which is the washer. I'm surprised the jail doesn't catch the fucking lighter from slipping past it and going into the fucking outside den, which is the dryer. Oh, that's a weapon. That's a weapon where I come from, yeah. It's not going to get past, and it's going to blow the dryer to fuck. Oh, that's it. You see the fucking whole goddamn laundromat blown to fuck. The picture here is... He's, like, trying to escape. He sees the things on fire. Oh, boy. How many bags do you have, sir? I'm counting one, two, three, four. And a saddlebag. It's probably where you have lighters and butane, oh boy, oh butane. Aussies urge to always check your pockets. Yeah, 
uh, cigarette lighters are usually filled with butane, which uh, contain a highly flammable gas, and when damaged in the right conditions, can cause a fire. Oh no, shit, Sherlock, that's what the fuck they're used for. All you gotta do is just, and that's it. You just, you just push it with your fat fucking thumb and then keep it lit. And of course, if it's spinning around one of them fucking fumble dryers, I'm sure it just got the nudged it just at the right, right spigot, and that's it, the whole thing blew to fuck, and he's trying to escape, oh, superintendent Adam, oh, Adam, Dewberry said, Dewberry, I can tell you're from Australia, with a, with a last name like Dewberry, hey, what do you want for breakfast today, Adam, I'll have some of the Dewberries, actually, I'll be your new Captain Crunch. Chomp down on Mr. Adam Dewberry's fucking last name. He just he just riddles the last name into a cereal bowl. And that's it. He's now a part of the NSW Fire Rescue. He told Yahoo News Australia. The message is to always check your pockets, but not only for the tissues with cum in it, and turn your clothes into a white mess, but more importantly for the modern conveniences such as batteries and lighters. Yeah, if you put a battery in there, it'll just go... It'll blow. Not only will it blow up the building, but then you got battery acid all over the driveway, all over the sidewalk and the roadway, and then that's just gonna create more potholes of battery acid in the road you're gonna see a lot of cars driving into the fucking potholes because first off you're not looking at the goddamn road i'm on a bike riding down the road and everyone's got the fucking phone glued to their hand and then glued to their eyes everyone should just drive a fucking phone around put wheels on a phone drive it around you're just never gonna stop looking at it just crash into a million fucking families. That's it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. They could do more harm than put fluff all over your clothes. No shit. That's obvious. You really don't know what you knew. He's also stressed that power banks are becoming smaller and more convenient to consumers. The fuck does that mean? Power banks? It is easy to see how these could be left in pockets during washing and drying cycles. Oh, power banks. You mean, oh, I know what you mean. You mean, uh, since the phones we have are so run down and battery life is fucked to hell and I have to charge it every five minutes, I only gotta carry a goddamn lithium battery in your pocket from the phone to go dissolve your fucking insides of your leg. Not only that, but now you got a power bank on the other side dissolving your other organs. Great. And yeah, I think the power bank is more easier. It's easier to leave a power bank in the old dirty washing machine. And then it gets transferred over to the dryer. But I have one question to how do you not see the cable hanging from the power bank? I mean, that, the lighter is easy to slip past you. It's easy to slip past the guard. It's like Earthworm Jim over there. They got the power banks with a fucking apple cord hanging or whatever the hell phone you have. If you got one of them dope chargers hanging out, I know I got a lot of cables to hook up so I can charge the vapes and all the bongs and the dab rigs and all that. I hate when they die on me when I'm trying to puff them down in the middle of a fucking parkway. Oh boy. Battery recharging banks can cause a similar type of explosion. Oh god, combine that with the lighters, you're screwed, Mr. Dewberry. Lithium lithium ion batteries can also ignite damaged by the tossing and spinning actions of a washing machine or dryer, especially if it has the fucking flaps from hell in it. 
Plus, the dryer's added risk with the elevated temperatures used to dry the clothes. No shit, that's what a fucking dryer does, dumb shit, Dewberry. Oh, boy. Who the hell's running this? Oh, you superintendent, Mr. Dewberry. You're the superintendent. Video stuns social media, super lucky. Yeah, he is lucky for escaping. He knows it's on fire. See, commenting on the video on Twitter, some viewers compared the incredible scenes to something from a movie. Well, they should have had a camera crew over there to film the fucking thing. They're saving a lot of money because the shit wasn't intentional. And it looks like the opening scene to an action movie once said. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last action hero. Oh, boy, let's get Arnold Schwarzenegger over here to fucking... Pick up the dryer and chuck it over the highway like Superman. You'll see the fight. It'll look like a flaming comet going across the sky. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And it'll fucking hopefully blow up on a fucking another laundromat. <laughs> Others couldn't get over how close the man was to getting caught up in the blast. That guy had a guardian angel looking out for him, for real. Uh, one said, man, dude was super lucky, wrote another. Apparently this guy is lucky, he has a fiery angel. I don't think it's a guardian, but maybe it is the devil's angel that protected him, oh, once and for all. I'm sure he's the one that started the fire in the first place. Yep. He's actually just Satan's little helper. He goes over there. He's like, hey, here's a lighter. Toss it in the fucking dryer. Watch it spin on high frappe. Then go over to Starbucks, get a frappe. Then you'll watch the whole thing explode from the fucking distance while you're sipping it. Ah, Jesus Christ. And then, and then you'll probably get in your little speed wagon and haul off to the, ne to the next laundromat with another lighter. You probably got a fucking 12 pack out of those baby lighters. Hopefully no kids were uh, injured in the explosion, Jesus Christ. I gotta throw the picture up online so you guys can see it. Oh boy, it looks fun. Not really. I love the, the comparison picture. It just looks, it kind of looks like a younger version of me waddling out. It's like, oh, the, the dryer's on fire. It's not a big deal. I'm just gonna stroll out of here. No one will know it's me. Then little do I know that they have footage live and raw of uh, me, me walking out unconcerned. <laughs> Not concerned at all at the buildings on the up in flames, but did you ever catch this man? Did he get charged? What happened? Did he even get charged? Oh, he didn't get charged for nothing. How the hell is this fair to us? Put a lighter in a fucking dryer. And the whole place will blow to fuck. Fuck right up. Oh, the whole place is just blown the fuck right off. All right, well, maybe keep your eye on him. He's probably gonna do it again. I mean, it, it is kind of addicting if you get away from him. Uh, wow. Well, oh, here's the picture. Wow, the whole thing's blown to fuck. You're right. <laughs> the whole window, the front window's off. It's, it's off. The plant's knocked over, the chairs are blown up, the dryer's not, you're not able to dry anything anymore unless you want to flame broil it. All right, let's do one quick one. I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta haul off to work on the fucking bikey, wikey, trikey, and I gotta make a cup of joe. That's what I want to do before I get to work. All right, next. Oh, next. Oh, boy. Man facing charges after stealing a school bus leading police on multi-county chase. 
Oh, yeah, it is fun stealing a school bus from hell and driving it into the fucking archives of hell or wherever you live. Did you get away? What, were kids on the... I have a lot of questions. Let's just take a look, see what we have. Pennsylvania, USA, police have arrested a man who allegedly stole a school bus in Adams County before leading authorities on a multi-county chase on Tuesday morning. That was yesterday. And he... I was probably making eggs or flipping a fucking dryer sheet around. Hopefully it didn't blow up. Uh, Tony Saunders, 24, no fixed address, which means he's homeless. That's a polite way of saying you're homeless. But who is accused of stealing a school bus in Abbottstown, Adams County on Monday night? Police said Tuesday. No children were on board the bus. Good, that answered the first question. You got little Henry hiding under the seats because he's terrified, Mr. Saunders. Homeless Saunders got the bus out of control. The stolen Lincoln Coach Lines bus has been reported to state police in Gettysburg. Oh boy, that's where all the fucking ghosts live over there. I saw someone else younger on a ghost tour. Oh boy, that place is haunted to fuck. Yeah. And then on early morning hours on Tuesday, you be on the lookout not only for the ghosts, but for the man driving the bus with his hands. And he has been sent out to law enforcement agencies yeah, in York County. Yeah, that's where I'm from. A festering shit, shit box. Yeah, grew up by the fucking dump. You got coyotes and nothing but coyotes and dump haulers and fucking methane gas dissolving your insides from childhood to adulthood to older age to dust a dust puppy Car uh, Carroll Township Police officer spotted the stolen bus shortly before 8 a.m. on Tuesday as if it drove through the parking lot of Giant Foods and Rite Aid on Route 15. I'm with you there. I know where that's at. Officers observed the lights on the bus were turning on and off intermittently. Saunders drove the bus out of the parking lot and then got onto Route 15, heading north, north, whoa, well, on Route 15. That's not good idea. Mr. Saunders, you don't want to get on a fucking Route 15. You're gonna, they're gonna lead you on to a multi-county chase, which is look like what we're digging into now. Not only is this a felony because it's a vehicle, but the new part you add into it now, were there any children inside? Exactly, first question. Second question, did the mail stop? to pick up any children. Well, that is a good question. He could be a little ice cream truck child school bus molester. I understand where it's Chief Thomas Wargo, the Carroll Township Police Department is coming from there. None of us was known at the time. The officer attempted to conduct a traffic stop according to the police, but the bus eventually pulled over near the junction of the P. A turnpike, but immediately pulled away and continued to drive. <laughs> of course, he's like, hey, yeah, I think, I think I do uh, want to get pulled over here. I'm going to, I'm going to tease him a little bit. As soon as the officer gets out with his little shackle belt, his fucking nightstick wanting to club his head in and save all the children, but the cops didn't even really know that yet. And he just takes off, he fucking floors it. And that's it, the cops get back in their cruisers and drive 19 miles an hour over the speed limit. The authorities said Saunders drove the bus off a roadway and down an embankment in Lower Allen Township, nearly overturning the vehicle. That's usually what the fuck happens when you are running from a bunch of police. Yeah. The cop was blocking both lanes and then when it opened up a little bit, I was filming and was able to see the bus going over an embankment there and hoping there was no kids in it, said Jody Leninger, 
who witnessed the bus drive over the embankment as she was on her way to work. Could you imagine? She's just like, oh, I kind of want a cheesy croissant from Burger King. I got to hit up the laundromat, but it looks like it's on fire. I can't do that. Oh, look, there's a bus driving over a fucking embankment with possible kids in it. That's a hell of a day to work. That's, that's, you do see a lot of crazy shit, I'll say that. Oh, boy, but the bus continued to drive onto the Gettysburg. Ghost Road in Lower Allentown ship, where it turned into a nearby neighborhood. And Saunders then fled on foot through the wooded area, leaving the bus, not only the children behind, but the bus behind as well. Mr. Tony Saunders, you're gonna have a hell of a court day, I'll tell you that. Pursuing officers found Saunders on a nearby railroad track. Did you, you have your saddle over your fucking shoulder on a stick? You just laying on a railroad track. Probably waiting for a train to hit you before the cops fucking maul your head in with a nightstick and a gun. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, that's one train ride you didn't get to have. But no one was injured. No officers were injured either. Mr. Saunders, Saunders wasn't injured, no kids, no one from the public was injured, and the defendant in the case was not injured either, the said Chief Wargo. Mr. Chief, Mr. Wargo. Police claim Saunders was completely nude at the time. Oh, God. He's probably trying to film a fucking porn in the bus. Some fucking kid fetish and the broad got scared and jumped out right before he fucking crashed the bus over that embankment. Couldn't even film a fucking porn right. Officers who searched the bus found the carcass of a deer in the back. Wait, what? A deer? After being arrested, Saunders admitted to police that he stole the bus earlier in the day after crashing a BMW vehicle. Oh, oh, oh boy, what, why was it, was that your BMW, was it yours, or did you steal it? My guess is that you probably stole that. You probably stole a fucking BMW just like you stole the bus. You crashed two vehicles in one day. The bus counts as like three cars by the size of the fucker. And what were you doing? Fucking the deer carcass. What'd you do? Hollow it out with an axe? You're probably wearing it like some fucking Maharaja voodoo fucking clown. Probably trying to raise the kids from the grave that you murdered. Uh, there's no kids on the bus because he fucking murdered them all or the deer ate them. If he had a pig on the bus, they eat, they eat kids' bones live and raw. That's why the Amish have them around so they can kill anyone who they want. The Amish are like the mafia, but more natural. They get a pig to eat the carcass, yeah. They're smart like that. All right, Saunders said he was taking the vehicle and placed the deceased deer in the back. He told officers he's gonna use the deer as fertilizer for his cart. That's a strange thing to say after stealing a school bus. I would have said, yeah, I'm gonna take it home and, I don't know, eat it, deer meat, give it to my family, but fertilizer for your garden's a little off. To me, that sounds like a little off. And I'm pretty sure that by the looks of you, it looks like you fucked the thing. Uh, Carroll Township Police have charged Saunders with fleeing and eluding police receiving stolen property and reckless driving. It doesn't seem, I mean, it seems bad, but oh boy, I guess if the judge is going to read this, He's probably going to get a lot of charges thrown at him with a crowbar behind the charges, probably to donk his fucking eyes out. He 
was transported to the York County Central booking for arraignment on those charges. Oh boy, and you're, you're in the York County, best luck to you, kid. State police are investigating the thief of a bus in Adams County. And well, that's him. You don't have to investigate it. He stole the fucking thing, crashed two vehicles at once. Additional court documents state that Saunders is facing other charges in Adams County for leading police on a separate chase. There we go. There's the whole eluding officers and the state troopers conducted a traffic traffic stop on a black BMW SUV. 